So anyway, how are y'all doing? Doing good. How are good. you? Eh, I'm all right. I'm all right. Hanging in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got pepper. You got pepper. I'm taking pepper. it. It's mine. I'm giving it to Shane. Fuck you. Wait, Wait hold on. We need at least one of those to go to the community center. I'll take it to the community center. I'm joking. Okay. Our pickaxe isn't ready yet, but we do have enough money for the uh -huh. axe. Uh, Store some of that wheat and um, sell some know. of it. You can sell a little bit of it, but I would store a little bit of it away for later purposes. You decide how much to keep and how much to sell. We'll be able to grow more later, but I just wanted to let you I've know. Got, I've got one bushel of star hay, or star wheat, excuse me. Alright, definitely sell the star one, though. Got ourselves a hot pepper in the bundle. <laughs> I'll do some fishing today. I can just, I can, I can hit the weeds with my axe. Look at that. I don't even have to switch to the hoe. I didn't know that. That's super convenient. Yeah. It is also draining my energy. Much like all things in life. You guys remember the tricks, Rabbit? What if he was just trying, like, what if, I, he most of, I think the biggest issue is he was trying to steal from children. What if he just went to the store, though, and, like, bought, bought a box? Would people, like, be able to steal it from him then? Take it from him? Yeah, that's legally his, so I feel like it would be bad. What if he, like, he doesn't, he's never actually tasted tricks because he never gets his hands on it? And then if he tastes... And then he finally got it one day and he was like, this is fucking shit. This is he has, terrible. He Why has, am I on the box of this? He has eaten tricks before because uh, tricks ran a, a contest. Uh, to, the, they ran a poll to see if kids wanted the tricks rabbit to taste tricks. Assuming kids would say no and uh, overwhelmingly kids said yes. Everybody felt bad for that fucking rabbit. They wanted him to give it a go. I remember... I don't remember that one. I do remember the one where it's like a train mystery. And you have to, like, determine which one of the rabbits is the trick rabbit. Mm. Because there was, like, five rabbits and one of them was him in a disguise. You remember how Applejacks had an entire campaign based around the fact that their cereal does not taste like apples. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Why, Why was cereal advertising so weird back in our day? I remember they had a, a commercial for like an ad campaign for like we're gonna throw in a new shape. And I don't remember. I, the only one I remember was the one that actually won, which was blue carrot. Um, which was it was like a blue uh, carrot shaped cereal piece that was blue, but it just tasted yeah. like normal Apple Jacks. And I voted yes. for that, and then when I saw the commercial, I was just like, I did that, that was me! <laughs> I was like, and I was like, like no. I was like, no one's ever gonna know that it's thanks to me that we have blue carrot. Um, I remember. remember when, like, there used to be, like, a whole ass, like, Kellogg's cereal, something like that. I think it was Kellogg's, like, website, and, like,. Yeah. There was like a bunch of games on it, and one of the games was like this really weird, like virtual pet game where you raised a mouth, like just a human mouth on a piece oh, of whatever fabric. I think. Fuck! I, I think you're right. I do remember that actually vaguely. That was so weird, but I do yeah. remember that. I was obsessed with that when I was a kid. I don't yeah. know why. I remember there was like a game where you played as the honeycombs mascot, which used to just be this. One crazy furball character. I don't think they use him anymore, because he was just this creepy CG character. I feel like if you look at the Honeycomb's mascot, you actually are supposed to die instantly upon Co gazing upon him. Cookie Isn't Crisp, like, before they made Isn't the uh, Honeycomb mascot in a uh, barnyard? Oh, uh, barnyard? I think so. That fuzzy I think that actually is uh, I don't know. Oh, one guy that's in the box. I don't think, I don't think it is actually the honeycomb mascot, but yeah, it's yeah, something. It doesn't look like him. I remember, um, 
there was oh the God, com- like, I'm there- dying, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying, 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 death and dying, death and dying. There we go. I remember, um, do they still do the Trix Rabbit commercials? Like, because I don't I think so. I have, I haven't, I don't see them, but at the same time, I'm not like watching Nickelodeon or Cartoon Network anymore. And that's where hey, those two it. are going. That's where those are going to air. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, I would assume so, but I. I mean, things are going to end eventually. I remember before it was the fucking, like, the Cookie Chris mascot, they went, they basically ripped off the Trix Rabbit, but before that they had, like, a dog mascot, and it switched to the wolf. Yeah, that well, was... Cookie Crisp has had several mascots over the years. Yeah. They keep mascot. Well, well, Cocoa Puffs had, like, this chill bird character, and then they also ripped off the Trix Rabbit thing, where it was like, he's cuckoo for Coke. Okay, I don't think, to be fair of him, I don't think it was necessarily that he, like, couldn't get his hands on it. It was just that he couldn't avoid the temptation, but they turned, I don't know. With it. Yeah, it wasn't so much that, uh, some of this fucking fish and shit is bull fucking shit. Isn't it, though? The Trix Rabbit is still on the cereal boxes, is the thing. So yeah. Assume... Oh, Abigail's playing her flute right now. Aww. And then Reese's Puffs managed to be fucking iconic without a mascot. Sure. They just, just like, they, they just, they just put together a memorable rap that everyone remembers. Several raps. Chris yeah. earned the fisherman. Well, the, bi- the big Chris one. Back? Yeah, yeah, back. Oh, yeah, Chris oh, talked. Oh, okay, cool. Been back, I heard him. Yeah. Okay. Like, the most popular one is, either. like, Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs, peanut butter chocolate flavor. That's always going to be, like, the yeah. big one. I think I actually talked to Chris already yeah. when he came back, and now I'm just processing that I was talking to Chris. Could this <laughs> be? I just kind of integrated. It, it, didn't, it didn't settle in that you had come back. Wait, could this be the Mandela effect? I don't think that's what it is, but... Yes, it is. All right, cool. You had I a agree. memory. Uh, some people remember that you did talk to Chris, and some people said, no, they didn't talk to Chris. Well, we'll know when the stream or whatever comes out. Well, the, Dude, the problem is, is out, like... You know what I mean. The problem is Michael could, like, probably edit it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to make but, everyone... Uh, Chris is not talking no, the whole time, but no, we are. No, we I was on the stream, and they and they say something, and it's like, no, I, I watched the episode upload, and they don't say anything. <laughs> I'm a firm believer, and people are just wrong. <laughs> For, like, the Mandela effect thing. Oh, absolutely. Um... There's, there's, a, there's also that, like, majority bias or whatever it's called. What is it called? Where well, it's just, the... like, everybody, if everybody in the room is right, if everybody in the room agrees, it's probably not correct. Well, the thing with the Mandela effect is, like, I actually do think it's interesting to think about, like, why we think about these things differently. It's part of the reason I want to show you guys yeah, how to with John a, Wilson. Yeah, that is interesting. I, I, I it's part of the reason I want to show you guys how to with John Wilson, because they actually show... So I think that is a fascinating show, and they do one on the Mandela effect. But I think the people who think it's an alternative universe thing, it's just like, are you really that stubborn that you can't admit that you just didn't remember something right? I just think alternate dimensions are cool. It's, it's, uh, I, it's cool to, that's a cool thing to think about. When in terms of the Mandela effect, I just think it's pure stubbornness. I think that's crazy, people. Hmm. <clears throat> the idea of alternate universes are a thing. I just, mm-hmm. I feel like though your memories would be a lot more dramatic than just you know and something that, minor. And there's you a ever... reason that like with like mirror mirror on the wall versus magic mirror on the wall. The reason that you remember that wrong is because people I... parodied it, did a parody I... of it, and I... said it wrong. I, I, actually, that's the thing is that that's most of those, or some of them are just context reasonings of why they do that. Yeah. Well, who was it? Was it Matt that talked about the Christmas song recently? Yeah, yeah that was me. Um, it's just stuff like that where there actually is more than one version, but the official version isn't the one that you're as familiar with. Well, it, 
it also comes down to like as a giant ass Star Wars nerd, right? Yeah. Luke, I'm your father is easier to say and people understand it more yeah. as being a Star Wars reference than just saying, I know I'm your father. Yeah. You know? 